नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ द लाइन ऑफ लॉन्गेस्ट वेव लेंथ इन बालमर्स सीरीज ऑफ हीलियम आयोन इज वाई देन द लाइन ऑफ शॉर्टेस्ट वेव लेंथ इन लाइमन सीरीज ऑफ हाइड्रोजन स्पेक्ट्रम इज यू नो दैट द वेव नंबर न्यू बार which is the reciprocal of wave length is given by rh into z square into 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square now for balmer series we know n1 is equal to 2 and line of longest wave length that is n2 is 3 so this is what we need to know so thereby we are given already line of longest wavelength in balmer series of helium ion for helium ion z is equal to 2 the wavelength is given as y therefore 1 by z equal to rh into z square is 4 into n1 for balmer series is 2 so 1 by 2 square minus n2 because we want the line of longest wavelength so therefore n2 is equal to next higher number of n1 that is 1 by 3 square so this will come out to be 1 by y is equal to 4 rh into 1 by 4 minus 1 by 9 therefore 5 by 36 in other words 1 by y is equal to 4 rh into 5 by 36 is 5 rh by 9 is equal to 1 by y from where we can write redbox constant for hydrogen can be written as 9 by 5y say 1 but what is that we are asked to find the shortest wavelength in lyman series of hydrogen spectrum so we need shortest wavelength for lyman series and in hydrogen spectrum for which purpose we have for lyman series n1 is equal to 1 and we want the shortest wavelength lambda s where s stands for shortest then n2 becomes infinity so this is another one which is very important and for hydrogen z is equal to 1 therefore 1 by lambda s that is shortest wavelength we are represented by lambda s is equal to rh rh we got it as 9 by 5 let us substitute that 9 by 5 y Into one by one square minus one by infinity square. Therefore, one by lambda s comes out to be nine by five y. And what is this? One by one square one. This is zero. So this is one itself. So lambda s, the wave length corresponding to the line of shortest wave length, lambda s is equal to five y by nine. Now let us check the options. So we have 5y by 9. This is 9y by 5. This is y by 4. 5 by 36y. And here is the 5y by 9. So D is the answer. And to check here, we have hydrogen spectrum. For which purpose these lines correspond to energy levels. Here, the gap between the two lines indicates the energy difference. So here, n1 is equal to 1, 2. Three, four, five, six. Now, when we want the Balmer series, here is the n one is equal to two, and when we go for the electron falling from third level to second, the energy difference here is less. So the wavelength of this will be maximum. But if the electron falls from here, the energy difference is becoming more. For this particular line, if you see from four to two. the energy difference between the two levels being more wavelength becomes less so when you go from the infinity line the energy difference is maximum wavelength is least so therefore for least wavelength we need to start from infinity for maximum wavelength we have to go for the next higher level we have taken here similarly for lyman series if we take from here energy difference being less this will become line of longest wavelength but if we start from infinity level to this the energy difference being very high wavelength is least this corresponds to line of shortest wavelength